Hi, Domenica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to hem pants using the blind hem stitch on your sewing machine. Now, if at any stage you want to jump straight to seeing me use the blind hem stitch on the sewing machine, then just click on the link in the top left corner or you can find it in the description box down below. So let's get started. Okay, so first off you'll need to grab the pants that you want to hem and you'll need to unpick the current hem that's already there. So grab your quick unpick and you'll just need to go through and unpick all those stitches on both legs. Okay, so for this step you'll need to work out where you want your pant leg to go down to. So if the pants are quite long, it might be best to fold them up on the outside like that and get the person to wear the shoes that they'd normally be wearing uh, with the pants. Okay, and once you've got the right length, just pop a pin in just so you can remember where you want the pant line to go down to. Okay, so you need to do that on both sides and then when you're happy with that we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so here's the pin that I placed um, on the pant leg in the last step to show how long we want the pant leg to be. Now before I said you could do this on both legs, really only need to have you need to do it with one and then you can transfer the measurements over to the other leg. Okay, so We've got the pin in there so we know where we want the peg pant leg to finish. So I'm just going to measure how wide that part is that we've folded up. And it, to me it's just over four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and just make sure that the, the cuff here is turned up the same distance all the way around. And I'll just place a couple more pins in to hold it in place. So if you've got one of these little rulers, then they can be quite handy. But if you just have a normal standard ruler, then that would be fine as well. And this just makes sure it's even all the way around. So about four should be fine. Okay, so for my new hem, I'm going to need about two inches because I'm going to fold over the hem to hide the raw, inch, raw, raw edges. So uh, I've just got a pen to mark where that two inches is going to be. And I'm just going to place some lines around the pant leg. Okay, so once I've done that, uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to trim off this excess fabric here because I won't need that anymore. So I'm just going to go and grab um, a pair of my scissors and chop off that excess fabric. Okay, so I'm going to repeat those steps on the other leg now and then we'll be ready to move on to the next bit. Okay, so I've trimmed off the excess fabric on both pant legs. Now I'm going to actually remove the pins and turn the pants inside out and then we're going to do some ironing. Okay, so I've got the pant legs um, inside out. So now I'm going to fold them back up um, at the two inch mark. So just like we did before, 
I'm going to fold it up, make sure it's two inches, back down a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to give that a press with the iron. And I'm going to do that all the way around for both of the pan legs. Okay, once you've ironed the two inches, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this under so we can hide away this raw edge because you can see already that it's starting to fray like crazy. And I'm going to roll it under so it's maybe, maybe leaves about um, an inch and a quarter of a hem there. Okay. So about like that. So I'm going to do that all the way around and iron it down as I go. Okay, so now you can see we've ironed that raw edge under to hide it away and stop it from fraying away. Now the last step before we head over to the sewing machine is we need to make sure our pants are inside out still and what you need to do is you need to tuck the hem in and under so you have about maybe in between an eighth and a quarter of an inch of the top piece sticking out. So I'll just do that one more time. Okay, tuck it in and under. Okay. And then I'm just going to pin that to stop it from coming undone. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, so you should have the pant legs looking like this. So you've got the hem part tucked in and under and that should be going in towards the right side of the pants okay and then about an eighth to a quarter of an inch sticking out all the way around okay so now we've got the confusing part out of the way let's head over to the sewing machine okay so before we do our blind hem stitch on our actual pair of pants I thought I'd just show you what the stitch looks like and because the stitch um, is a bit hard to see with the actual blind hem foot on there I thought I'd show you with the um, open toe foot first so you can actually see what's going on I've just got a scrap piece of fabric here so you need to make sure you select your um, blind hem stitch on your sewing machine so it'll look like uh, a, like a straight stitch with some points going off to the left every now and then I'll show you a picture on the screen just in case that confused you okay and so we'll do a few straight stitches followed by a zigzag to the left every now and then so you can see that working right there okay so if we take a closer look, you can see that it has a few straight stitches with your zigzag stitch and the zigzag, zigzag stitch is actually what will be um, holding your blind hem together. Okay, so now that you've seen that, I'm going to take this foot off and we're going to put the blind hem foot on. So on my Janome sewing machine, my blind hem foot looks like this. It has a G on it and for this one it has an adjustable um, guide on it so theoretically you can do the blind hem stitch with a standard sewing machine um, standard foot 
but um, these special, the special blind hem foot will just provide you with a guide. And this one is one for the Brother sewing machine. So you can see that it has that guide for the fabric to go along. Hopefully you can see that. It's a bit blurry. Okay, but this one's not adjustable, not an adjustable guide. Okay, so I'll snap that on. Okay, I've got the blind hem stitch selected. And I'm also going to remove um, the extension table, so I'm going to be using the free arm part of the sewing machine. Okay. All right, and now we're ready to sew our blind hem stitch. All right, so I like to start on one of the side leg seams. So I've got one just here. So this is the part, I've got the pants inside out and this is the um, 1 8 to a quarter inch that we left um, overhanging. So I'm going to place this fold up against the guide on my foot. If you're using a standard foot, uh, you'll just need to pick a spot on that foot to keep it lined up against. Okay. All right and are ready to go. So when it does a zigzag, theoretically that zigzag will just catch this fold. Okay, let's go. And you might like to do a securing stitch if your machine does one. All right, I'm gonna keep on going. I'm using a pink thread here just so you can see it easily, it creates a nice contrast. Okay, so here's the blind hem stitch that we just finished on the sewing machine. So you can see all you need to do is pull that tucked in bit out okay so this is the this will be on the inside of the pant leg and then when you turn the pant leg the right way out you will see these little stitches that was, that was created with the blind hem stitch now it's not perfect but um, I did do it on the other side with um, a similar color and you can, that's very hard to see. Okay, and I probably could have played around um, with the stitch a little bit more to try and make sure it wasn't going over as far, but I think uh, for a machine blind hem stitch, uh, that's a pretty good result. Okay, so you can see that's with the red thread. And then that's with a similar thread similar colour thread. Okay, so there you have it. You just need to repeat that with both legs and you have hemmed your pair of pants with the sewing machine. So I hope you found this video useful and it's helped you learn how to hem pants with your sewing machine. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified of upcoming videos and thanks for watching.